the history of Sengol, the sacred symbol of authority. Righteousness and symbolism of power and justice. So that's what the Sengol word means. Sengol is derived from the Tamil word called Simai. So which basically means righteousness and symbolism of power and justice. Sengol or scepter was used during the Chola Empire for the transfer of power. So transfer of power means from the one king transferring his power to the another king, that's to his successor. One king transfers his power to his successor, which is blessed and given from the hands of his Rajguru. So that's nothing but the state priest. So he's the one who transfers the power to the new successor. During the Chola period, Sengol was considered as the sacred emblem of authority, representing the transfer of power from one ruler to another. So this is like uh, Raja Raja Chola, the great transferring his power to his son Rajendra Chola. Sengol and Nandi, symbolizing the staunch devotee of Lord Shiva sitting atop this scepter. Why Nandi here? So the Nandi bull symbolizes justice and strength. Another interesting part about this scepter is that goddesses Lakshmi, Mahalakshmi is also present in the scepter. This is for those who think that Shaiva and Vaishnava are different. That's Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu is different and no one can be worshipped together. So this is what the Chola period's Sengol is trying to say that both are like two eyes to the Chola period or to the Cholas. Sengol doesn't have its boundaries. So it's not just restricted with the Cholas or Tamil Nadu but it also has its presence in Karnataka. As you can see in the above image, Lord Shiva is dancing and next to him you can see the scepter or the Sengol standing right next to him. This is in the Virupaksha temple, Patadakal, Karnataka which was built 1300 years ago, commissioned by Loka Mahadevi, the queen of Chalukya, Vikramaditya II. We all know that Sengol was in practice for thousands of years in the South Southern Kingdoms. So do you know who actually designed this Sengol in 1947? So he is Sri Bumudi Bangaru Chetiar. So he was the one who designed the Sengol in 1947 in Madras under the supervision of the seer of Thiruvaduthurai Adhinam, a Tamil Nadu Mutt. The scepter or the Sengol was in practice for many years and it was designed by Bumudi Bangaru Chetiar. But then, do you know to whom the actual credit goes to? To this man, Siraj Gopalachari. It's him, the complete credit goes to him. He took this initiative and recommended to make the Sengol. He approached the Mutt in Tanjavu district, ensured the preparation would be made with spiritual significance and othering to the traditions. The Sengol was received by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to represent the transfer of power from the British. But this Sengol or the scepter was kept in the Museum of Allahabad for 75 years. And finally, after 75 years, Prime Minister Narendra Modi took an initiative to install this Sengol in the new parliament. So now Narendra Modi has placed it in the new parliament and a new India is born. Thank you for watching this video. So this would have been insightful to you. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos related to ancient Indian history and many more. Thank you.